good evening friends welcome to the india power talk as you know india power talk is an initiative wherein we invite international thought leaders and domain experts to create an easily accessible digital reservoir of their insights experiences and strategies on the economy for today's conversation i'm going to focus on what makes a legendary global brand today i have with me highly experienced emmanuel sesiorot from milan italy who has recently authored a book about legendary brands emmanuel may i ask you to begin by giving a short intro about your earlier work and the book legendary brands the idea was to find out uh, to decode to the de- to, to find out the decodification about why a, le- a brand becoming legend and just to make you an example india based is a few days ago in in last august uh the gandhi uh, glasses has been in, in an auction was sold for 3 304000 dollars uh, so the, the 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 idea is why a pair of glasses have been sold for this amount the, 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 this huge amount of of money so the 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 answer is because the the, the those glasses was uh where by gandhi that is a legend so the, the 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 what i what i try to do in my in my book is to find out not from from a person point of view from from a v point of view but from a brand point of view the reason why of these uh brands become legend i my my experience is uh in in in, in the first 20 years in in companies first start from advertising agency and then moving to the companies into the companies i i work in some let's say for, for, from my perspective in some legend like ferrari and uh, so i did a, i did a job related to marketing strategic marketing retail and business development then mm-hmm. i had this opportunity to 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 have the chance to enter in 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 in, in my family in my family business and uh, is is a, is a is a small company is a small italian company very very old because it's just uh 160 years old and then uh and then i i i i i found my my consultancy editor is very small uh we we do some job much more related to uh to the books that i wrote uh about strategic planning and uh, strategic thinking could you quickly share with us the, your experience with ferrari uh yes uh ferrari i i worked for ferrari from 2005 to to 2008 um my experience was related to uh retail business development mm-hmm. uh so if you have in mind the ferrari store Uh-huh. uh we i i started in a company where there was only stores in italy uh-huh. and i i i bring the concept uh, around the world we selected three main regional area uh um, china uh-huh. um middle east and and then us uh, so in 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 that year i mean i was the general manager and i, I made the, i mean we we developed the products and we open uh, stores in uh, as in in franchising uh, mm-hmm. around the world so that's it great uh, what what according to you distinguishes a legendary brand from other brands in other words what is the identity kit of any legendary brand if you see the market today i mean if you go in a supermarket if you go in a in a in a in a commercial district you you see a lot of products many 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 products there is a a, a clutter of products most of them are unbranded products then there are many branded products yes. but at the end of the day the reality is that there are very few uh, leaders into the market and even more there are at least the, uh, less than few uh, beauties and then very very limited uh, masterpiece legendary masterpiece how, how to become legendary so the idea the, the idea is exactly the following it's very important the story the storytelling of the company by the way every every company every brand every products has a story i mean if you, if you ask to any marketing manager any entrepreneur 
there is story behind a product, why they invented and whatever. But the reality is that only few of them, very limited few products become, can become legend. And what is a legend? Legend is something positive, okay? Mm -hmm. It's something that is relevant to say in the market. If we, if we think to the, to, to the history of the, of the man, we image the legendary was one of the first way to, to, to describe rules, to fix rules and, and to say to the new generation, which is the rule. So at the end of the day, today, a legend has a positive uh, meaning into, into a society, into a community or worldwide or whatever. I found out three key uh, elements that for me is the, is, is the, is the way to understand if the brand is legendary or not. So the first mm -hmm. one is unreplicable. Unrepl re uh, that means that you have done something, you have done a, a business project, you have done a product that is difficult to replicate. Okay. Mm -hmm. The second issue is to get a, that the legendary brand is, scal is uh, scalable. The last that maybe is the most important is that the legend is fascinating. Apart from uh, Emmanuel, apart from Ferrari, Armani, and Chanel, you said, could you give some more example of legendary brands? Okay. So Tesla uh, oh. as, 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 as is a new brand, is a newcomer, so uh -huh. it's not a long story. But they, they, what they have done, they, are, they, they have disrupted completely the category uh -huh. of car, exotic car, and uh -huh. electric car. And the other, the, the other um, famous uh, the German cars. Me uh, decided to follow. The idea is that um, it's not just an issue of uh, story, as I already say. It's an it's an issue of to be disruptive. It's mm -hmm. to generate a new category, to generate uh, a new standard, to generate uh, a new attractive solution, a new venture, whatever you want to call. It. The founder of the business idea is fundamental. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I analyze Armani, Vespa. Tesla, yes. Google, uh, Google, Apple, I mean, uh, Chanel. So the, 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 I think some, some uh, relevance reading what was the founders. So the founders was a contrarian guy. So was a new visionary. He was not interesting to understand which was the, uh, the, 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 the common things to do it. The interesting thing was to go against tradition. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you see the uh, the founders of the uh, re recent companies? Uh, the, the, uh, the, the the of new venture company to the new, take of uh, the new digital companies. Uh, can, can you see any any founders of the new digital company really distinguishing himself uh, like a legendary brand? I mean, I I, I think I, I believe that I mean the market need followers, need leader, uh, and need legend. Okay, at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So today, I think that there are uh, a lot of complexity in the market. So mm -hmm. today, to, to be a, a future legend will be much more difficult. For mm -hmm. example, I do not believe that in the real economy, in the real, uh, sorry, in the, in, the, in the old economy, like uh, in the car business, like in the luxury business, will be possible to have newcomers raising uh, new legendary brands. So if you want to be legendary, I mean, you need to, you need to find out a new category, a new, uh, a new segment, a new industry, and to point out that industry and to build something that will be distinguished, that will be disrupted, that will be new, that whatever well, I already say. So would you so, consider, would you consider Facebook, Google as, as a legendary brands? Yes, Google, 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 it's absolutely a legendary brand for me. I mean, my idea, my, my idea was to, was to, was to read different categories, not just luxury and uh, because, uh, I mean, it's, so the idea was that Apple, Apple is absolutely a legend because they have done the things in a different way. I mean, Samsung, I like very much, but it's mm -hmm. less disruptive. Uh, even more, Samsung, I mean, it, of course, there will be a, a founder, okay? But the role in the history of Apple, in the history of Google, in the history of uh, uh, Ikea, for example, the role of the founder was absolutely much more important. Great. You know, during the discussion last week, you mentioned to me about the first, by the first principle, the first principle of code of legendary brands. Now, 
could you please give us the definition of your uh, definition of the commercial activity what you mentioned okay the, the issue was to write uh, a code so it's based in, on 10 principles so the first principle is the most important one that is related to commercial creativity is exactly the same of the scientific creativity mm -hmm. and the artistic uh, creativity what i wanted to say is that guglielmo marconi when he invented the radio yes. wireless the, the wireless radio uh, he used a lot of creativity but downloaded to scientific okay so when leonardo da vinci made his his artworks uh, uh, i mean he worked with artificial uh, creativity Mm -hmm. they, those people must have an incredible imagination, imagination of the absence, okay? So the idea of the commercial creativity is exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So into the mind of the founder should be a need or should be an intention to feel something that didn't exist or mm -hmm. can be in a different way. So the idea of the commercial, of the commercial creativity is related to, 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 to be as much as possible revolutionary. You said in the 10th principle, uh, you talk about the better world and wisdom. Now, how did these brands perform during the first lockdown in the COVID-19 period? Uh, I, I, I was already prepared to, 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 to release the brand before the COVID. And then I, I decided to stop because what I wanted to do is to understand what some of those brands, was, what, what they can do it in terms of practical things. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the idea, the, the term principle about the better world means uh, that if you are a legend, uh, you are leading, you are observed by the business community, by the, by the consumer, by, other, by, the, by all the others. So the issue is that you must be example and again, exemplar uh, for the community. So you must be, one of your duty is to, is to create a better world. Okay? So Ferrari creates some uh, ventilator. Uh, he engineers some ventilator for the hospital and, 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 and produce for free and distribute. So let's move to, um, you spoke about digital branding or the, uh, the new age, uh, you know, legendary brands. So what's your sensation about the future of legendary brands? Uh, okay, I, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can do an estimation. I think that the next uh, le le legendary brand will be the company that will invent uh, the, the vaccine for the COVID. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the, I mean, there is a long list of companies that, that are fighting to be the first. One. So yes. the, <laughs> the first one will be a legend, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> By the way, uh, as, as, I mentioned, as I mentioned before, um, the great possibility to becoming a legend is in the, um, let's say, uh, IoT. IoT, yes. Uh, you know, do you think, Emmanuel, that with the penetration of, see, today the entire world is connected. You know, we all are yes. six billion people are connected uh, with mobile phones, internet, and social media, uh, and every, through all devices we are connected. No. Uh, uh, what would be your advice to small companies? Uh, how, do, how, how could they become a uh, legend? First of all, can a small company become a legendary brand in that instance? And, and a small company not uh, from the old economy or the new economy, just any small company. Um, the, 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 the issues of legendary, it's an international, international wise. Okay, so the idea was to be globalized. Uh, the, the, the company that I mentioned are globalized. If we reduce the space if we, on, a, on a geographical point of view and we decide that there may be some like in italy or in india i mean the the, the geographical the, the geographical area that you want to analyze is india or italy or whatever maybe also for small company i mean uh, they, they 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 can be leader first and then becoming legend of course it's not an issue of geographic it's an issue of to do something disruptive so one of the risk of a small business and sometimes they are follower okay they are not leader because they have not the they are not the capability uh, to do it maybe some of them i mean if you think to i, I mentioned about the garage i mean mm. if, if if we think to the original um, uh, momentum of google there was yahoo there was other brands so today there is only one 
Okay, so maybe in, if, if we reduce the geographical and maybe in a small market, maybe they can, they, they, some small brands can become legend in that specific yeah, area. The, one of the rule of the legend is the, because they, are, they play in advance. They, don't, they, they, they play in, they force uh, the, 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 to, to, be in, to, to be in advance and sometimes they are too much in advance. You're right. Is there anything, something very unique which you would like to share about legendary brands? The most important things is the intention. Is the intention, is the, is the, is the, is the idea. Uh, what I mentioned is the commercial, uh, co co commercial creativity, but you need to believe, you need to evaluate things uh, with the heart, with the, with the stomach, mm -hmm. and, and, and also to, to, to judge with the, with, with the brain but it's an issue of intention. I think in different, in, in, in a di with a different perspective, looking the things in a different. So I think that this is the, for me, is one of the most important uh, uh, understanding of, uh, of, of, of my book. What would be your one message to the potential uh, legendary brands? Uh, think, different, think different, if it's possible, uh, and try to do something as much as for consistency uh find out the moment the, the moment of fame mm -hmm. uh try to be try, try to be distinguished mm -hmm. uh, from a certain way by the way uh, to be honest i mean there are few rooms to be legend in the market so maybe mm -hmm. we need also follower very good followers uh, that do the quality and uh, so i mean if you uh if you are not chance to be a, a relevant legend be a very strong uh, follower let's say <laughs> great okay thank you Emmanuel. i would like to thank the indian chamber of commerce law Sico, and the india sme accelerator network let me conclude my vote of thanks with the humble prayer to the almighty uh, to bestow mankind with the right spirit to fight coronavirus and help restore peace prosperity and bliss uh, thank you Emmanuel.